look slimmer right away with these 10 tricks. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I do upload two new videos every week, every Wednesday and Sunday. So I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Stick around so you can see more videos just like this one. Today I'm sharing 10 tips, 10 style tricks to help you look instantly slimmer and they all work. Before I dive into those 10 tips, I wanna say that there is no reason why any of us need to look slimmer. Own your body, own your curvy body, own your curves. All of that is beautiful. Every size is beautiful. Every body type is beautiful. I am merely offering suggestions so that if you are interested in one day trying to look a little slimmer or a little taller, these tips can really make a difference if that's what you want. And I'm doing some before and afters, but all of the clothes that you will see are my clothes. I wear them all. So there's nothing wrong with the before. I'm just trying to show you an example of a before and an after so you can see, well, geez, if it makes an impact with me, it's definitely gonna make an impact with you, regardless of what size you are. I'm a five foot four inch woman. I'm a petite woman and I'm 115 pounds. So I'm not overweight. I'm not a big person. I'm a slim person. I don't have any reason or need to look slimmer. But I wanted to show you these tricks so that you can use them if you want to, if you feel you need to, if it makes you feel more confident because my goal again is to help you look good and feel good. So that's enough rambling, enough disclaimers. Let's get to the video. The first way and probably one of the most powerful ways that you can look slimmer instantly is to wear dark wash jeans. Here's an example of me wearing a lighter wash jeans, which again, I love, I have them, I own them, but the light wash jeans don't make you look quite as slim and tall as the dark wash jeans. So if that is the goal, definitely go with a dark wash jean and the darker, the better. And also the less whiskering, fading and distressing, the better that will elongate you even more. The second way to dress yourself slimmer is to wear high rise jeans. I wanna show you an example of me wearing a lower rise jean, they're really between a low and a mid, and a high rise jean. So you can see with the lower rise jean that even though I don't have much of a tummy, there's a little bit of skin that hangs over. And so what that creates is if you're wearing something fitted, it, it, it creates a little bit of bulk and a lump around the waistband. So it's not smooth. If you're going to wear something fitted on the top, I highly recommend wearing something with a higher rise because that will make everything look neater and tighter and no lumps and bumps will show, it's smoother. And it's just gonna make you feel more secure because it's all sucked in there, you know what I mean? So even if you don't have a tummy, like you could be like me with all that loose baby skin and a tiny tummy, it, it just looks neater and smoother on your clothes. And just personally, I feel so much better with a higher rise jean. So when you're looking at jeans and you're like, well, which jean has a high rise? Because it doesn't always say. Sometimes you can delineate by high rise, but what I look for is at least a nine inch inseam, a nine inch rise. That's high rise. Anything from nine to like 10, 10 and a half, super high. Good, belly button high. <laughs> That's what you want. My next tip is to cinch it. By cinching it, I mean accentuating your waist. When you wear something that is all over volume, like this dress, it's a really pretty dress. It just isn't that flattering. It just sort of swims on me. It doesn't look great, it sort of hangs. I can see this like looking really cool on the beach with like flat sandals and your hair's back, you know, just really easy breezy. But if I really wanna look slimmer and more, create more of that hourglass shape that we all covet and want, adding a belt is something really simple that I can do to cinch that dress take in some of that fabric, highlight a tinier part of my body, and make it look so much more flattering, figure flattering, and slimming. And it's just a belt, it's so simple. My 
Next, I want to talk about the power of the flare jeans, the wide leg jeans, the fit and flare jeans, whatever you want to call them. They will make you look like you are five inches taller and you're longer and you're slimmer. They are a magic trick, basically, visual magic trick. I love them. And I know that we've been in the skinny zone with jeans for a long time. Flares, wide legs are definitely making a comeback. I'm seeing them more and more. I think it's a slow build, you know, but it's there. So if you want to wear them, have at it. Very modern and very figure flattering, very elongating, very slimming. So here is a pair by Veronica Beard that I'm wearing that I absolutely am in love with. I think they are so gorgeous and so flattering. But you can see the difference between that long, wide leg fit and flare jean versus just a regular skinny jean. It definitely makes a big impact in terms of making your legs look so much longer. And when you throw on a wedge under those flare jeans, wow, legs for days. So if you want to create that long, lean, slim, trim look, definitely a fit and flare jean is your friend for sure. The next trick to help you look slimmer, longer, taller is to wear heels. This is like, oh, whoa, no brainer, right? But it's one of those things that's worth repeating and I'm gonna show you how dramatic it really can be. So here's an example of me on one side wearing just a really cute pointed toe flat. Like there's nothing wrong with these shoes, they're adorable. And then on the other side, a pointed toe black pump. I look much longer and taller with the pointed toe black pump instead of the flat. I feel like that effect is exaggerated even more when you wear skirts and dresses. Along those lines, another tip I wanted to share with you guys is to wear pointed toe shoes. The pointed toe, the shape of that toe, creates the illusion of more length taller, longer, slimmer. And then when you pair that with a similar colored tone pant or a similar colored tone skirt, dress, you're gonna look incredibly tall and long and slim. So don't forget about the power, not only of heels, but of the pointed toe pumps and the pointed toe heels. The next tip I wanna share with you guys is about prints. Wear solid colors. If you want to look slim and trim or slimmer and trimmer, wear solid colors instead of prints. Of course, we're gonna wear prints. I love prints, but where you place prints is very important. So if you are trying to make your lower body look slimmer, do not put a print on your lower body. Put something solid. So here's an example of me wearing a printed skirt. It's a polka dot skirt, red and white. Super cute. But that's going to make my lower body look bigger and call more attention to that area. So if that is the goal, then do the print. If that is not the goal, you want to look slimmer on your lower half, then do a solid. If you really want to go all out, you can do all one color from head to toe. The beautiful thing is any color from head to toe is going to be elongating and slimming. Darker colors are going to have more of a slimming effect because they're darker. So colors like black, like this suit, navy, burgundies, browns, anything that's dark, charcoal gray, those are all gonna be more slimming than let's say whites and pastels. But those solid colors from head to toe still have that elongating and slimming effect. So you can do like a beautiful beige from head to toe or a beautiful white from head to toe, and that will create still a long lean effect. The next tip I wanna share is to wear a V-neck, like the one I'm wearing now, versus a crew neck. So crew neck is something that usually falls to about right here, about your collarbone, and it's just a very small, half circle here. It's a beautiful neckline, but what happens is it's not quite as elongating on that upper body. And it's especially problematic if you're particularly busty, it will make you look even bustier. So if the goal is to minimize and to look slimmer and elongate, then definitely do a V neckline. It will for sure elongate that upper body, minimize that bust and make you look longer and leaner. The next tip I wanna share that will help you look slimmer is to wear vertical stripes, pinstripes. 
The reason vertical stripes work is because they're lines this way and it creates that long, lean line. So it's a really cool menswear inspired print. It also makes you look longer and taller. So it's a win-win for sure. Here's an example of a pair of pinstripe wide leg pants. Very elongating, very slimming. They also have that high waist and that high rise. So when you're thinking about really creating that super long lean line, you can do like a pinstripe pant, you could do a pinstripe suit. You could even do a stripe down the side of your jeans, which are really popular and hot right now. That often creates a visual illusion of less inches on your leg. It sort of cheats in the leg a little bit, and that is very flattering too. So if you don't wanna go pinstripes, you could try just those racing stripes down the side of your jeans. That has a very similar effect. The last tip I wanna share with you guys is to wear long necklaces and just generally be strategic with your jewelry. The long necklace, the pendant necklace, has the power to elongate just like a V neckline does. It's a really simple, easy way to just add some length to your body and add that slimming effect. It's really quick and simple. Some of you may have some issues with the long necklace. If you're particularly busty, you don't want it to look like they're just hanging off the shelf. But if you don't have that issue, I do think that's a great look. And it is, again, just a very simple way to create that long, lean torso. And then other things to think about with your jewelry is wherever you place it is where the eye is going to go. So if you wanna draw the eye, let's say up here toward your face and chest, then do place something right here, you know, sort of a, a collar necklace here or a really pretty pair of drop earrings here. That's going to call attention to your face and to this area that you wanna draw the attention to. And as per usual, I have some bonus tips for you guys. So if you're worried about a puffy face or round face, you know, you can always do contouring, especially here along the cheek bump. You know, you do the fishy face and then you contour here contour around here. You can contour the nose and then you can contour the jawline. That will make a kind of rounder face look more chiseled and look more slim, especially here along the jawline. That's if you've got a little bit of a double chin, you can do that. Just some contouring here and here. So that's a quick and simple thing you can do just to create that illusion of being a bit slimmer. Also, I would highly recommend trying a bra that vanishes back fat like the Soma Vanishing Back Bra. It really works. I have one, I've tried it, I've reviewed it on the blog. I'll put a link to it below. It has a different back to it and the way that it falls, it does not catch the skin or the fat on your back. So it just keeps everything nice and smooth in the back. So I think that's a great investment and it's a nice bra to have. The last thing I just wanna talk about is shapewear, of course. You know, we've got that at our disposal, so why not use it? I really prefer to do a shapewear skirt or an underbust Spanx shorts or the underbust Spanx. I think both are awesome. The benefit of the skirt is that you don't have to worry about the bathroom situation, but you could also do a tank with tummy control, any kind of shapewear that you wanna use, especially if you're wearing something very clingy and fitted. It's really nice to smooth out those lumps and bumps. And again, just look like you've lost 10 pounds, five to 10 pounds, and you've done nothing, no diet or exercise. You just have on your Spanx. And man, if you gotta double down, double down. I have done that before where I've doubled down on Spanx or I've done a tummy control tank and also a high waist tummy control brief. Whatever you need to do, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> but I just wanted to remind you of those tips as well because they're ones that I think are worth repeating and they're important and those are great tools to have in your toolbox. So making sure that you have the shape where you need so that when you have that situation of wearing a tighter dress, you're prepared, you're ready, throw that shape we're on and you're super confident walking out the door. Okay, you guys, so those are your 10 tips to help you instantly look slimmer, no diet or exercise required. Again, these tips are just suggestions. I am by no means saying that you need to look slimmer and taller. It's just if you would like to look slimmer and taller, here are some tried and true tips and tricks that work across the board, regardless of your size, regardless of your height regardless of your body type. 
So use them, they're awesome. I use them all the time. If you liked this video, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button so you can see more just like it. I will put related videos down in the description box. Any products that I talked about, I will also put in the description box. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at BusbyStyle there. I post a lot of just daily looks and more outfit suggestions and styling suggestions. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate your support and I will see you next time. Bye.